Okay guys, today I'm going to test and possibly repair, or maybe maybe I'll be lucky, maybe it'll work, an Asteroids board. I just picked up at the Ohio Pinball Show. But, for now, I'm going to try, what the hell is this? Is that yummy? Yum yum? Yum yum. Some weird craft beer. That, uh... Let me pop this sucker real quick. And I dropped my bottle cap. Ah, yuck. Okay. But anyways, I'm going in here where my wife is actually trapped behind an asteroids machine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there she is. <laughs> I got a little temporary light rigged up over here. And I'm gonna plug this sucker in. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this guy here. We have a power LED. And we have a spot killer light, so we know that the board is not producing a video signal. <sighs> okay. Well, hold on, let me just try to jiggle some of these chips just for giggles. Uh, put it on test mode, Kelly. Ooh. Ooh. Flip it off and put it back on again. Alright. Yeah, there you go. Just do test mode switch back and forth. Alright. One more time. Okay, we have a very consistent high, low. So... <clears throat> Let's look the awesome, awesome. What that's telling me is that's either, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a RAM error. So let's check out the manual and see exactly what it means. Jeez. Really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I came out of there. <sighs> okay, let's see if we can fix this board. I'm not going back in there. <laughs> so we're getting ready to put together the mobile, uh, workstation. This is actually just like a uh, end table for like a lawn furniture. Or, you know, for, hey, come off my porch. So now I got the boy. He's getting the desoldering iron. And let me look up. Alright, let me get let me get the uh, manual on the TV and see what one, one high and one low, right? Yes. What high and one low means. <laughs> okay, I have everything set up here. And let me explain how um, the self-test works on an Asteroids. Okay, there are six memory chips. One, two, three, four, five, six on an Asteroids. You have your program ROM, program RAM, and your vector RAM, okay? Now, the way this works is there will be six tones, okay? And, and the test will stop at the first bad chip. What you want to hear is you want to hear five, I mean, six uh, high beeps. Beep, 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 beep. beep. And then you know everything's good. But I heard beep, beep. So, so that is telling me the second chip it tested, tested bad. Now, there could be more problems after this, but, but it will not go past the first bad chip. So I have the manual up here. And that's telling me the first tone would be chip that, chip D2. We know that tested good. And the second tone is E2. So on the board, let me explain this here. Um, you have all these these letters. Uh, where am I at? B, C, D, E, F, G, E. Okay. This goes all the way down from the alphabet A to whatever it stops at. Looks like R. Okay. So I, I can go down and I can find E. And the other down the, the the other numbers are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. So it's kind of like a grid. You know what I mean? The letters are going this way, the numbers are going this way. That way you can pinpoint exactly which chip on the board is wrong. So I know that E two. This is one bank one and two. So I know this is the chip that's the culprit. I happen to know these are 2114s, even though these say something else. It's another compatible chip. What does it say? 9124? 
I don't I don't have any of those, but 2114 is the same same exact chip or a compatible chip. So that's what that's what I'm gonna put in. Okay, this is the chip. And before I before I desolder it, I'm gonna put some flux on here. Now this is just the uh, the standard flux you use to flux your uh, to reflux your flux capacitors. And uh, you can buy it at Radio. Oh, there's no Radio Shack. You used to buy the stuff at Radio Shack. Now it's like if you have a place online, get it there. Radio Shack's kind of going under. <sighs> but anyways. Um, I got my handy dandy desoldering iron, and I'm just gonna. Now you you can't you can't go too crazy on the flux. Go ahead and go crazy on the flux. It's cheap. It, it, it's 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 you know what I mean. And it it helps. Uh, it's nice when it comes to removing solder and adding solder. But okay, uh, and you can always wash it off. Zoom into this. See how I kind of removed those three chips there? Those three, those sides out of focus. See how I kind of removed that? I'm going to go ahead and remove the rest. Okay, I desoldered all the pins and uh, just for the hell of it, I kind of get a paper towel just to get some of the goo off of here. I hate getting sticky stuff on my hands because I'm going to flip this board over and I don't want to get any of this goo on my hands. That's good enough. Now, I did notice uh, when I touched it. Anyways, I touched uh, a little area right here and, and sucked a little divot out with a desoldering iron. I don't like that. It's probably just fine, but I'm uncomfortable with it. So, I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. I'm going to try to do it on the camera. I'm looking at the camera. Yeah, there we go. It's hard to do it that way for me. But, let's flip this sucker over. Okay. Is that the one? Let me zoom out and make sure that's the one. Yep, that's the one. And I'm going to try to pry this open. You know what, Kelly, do I have a pair of pliers handy? I'm going to wait for my wife to get a pair of pliers. I'll show you what I like to do. Okay, I got me a pair of pliers. And I'm just going to uh, rock this chip a little bit. First I'm going to squeeze these pins in. Every one of them. I'm going to rock it a little bit. Now I'm going to pull it up. Now every time you pull a chip, pay very close attention and make sure there's no leads that got pulled up. That's that thing I fixed on the other side. See a little, little bubble? Just make really good, careful, careful sure that I got flux all over the place that none of these leads were tampered or damaged in any way. Very important. Well, let me grab a socket. Well, I got me a socket here. Got that from Radio Shack. These aren't, now Radio Shack does not sell the best sockets. I like dual wipe or I like machine pin sockets, but uh, these are single wipe sockets. And uh, what it means is when, let me zoom out. When the chip goes in, it scratches on like a wiper right here. That's a single wipe. A dual wipe, it'll scratch like this. And a machine pin is a hole and, <laughs> and it goes <laughs> in like this. <laughs> but anyways, that's different kinds of sockets. Radio Shack sells the cheaper sockets. And uh, let me bite this open. Ah, some serious stuff. 
But I went around to every Radio Shack in my area, which was, I went to six Radio Shacks, and I uh, <clears throat> bought, like, everything <laughs> as much as I could when, when everything went to, like, 90% off in the parts drawers. So let me try to zoom in. Let's see if I can get it. That's not necessary, but you see how the front of that has a notch? Just like the chip has a notch on top here. I'm going to try to stick it in that way. You don't have to, but, you know, it's nice to. There's a camera in my face. I can't see. Let me make sure my holes are really clear. Okay, I have this up at up and uh, at looking at the light. Now I can see that there are some holes that I should probably clear a little better. I can't find my finger in the camera <laughs> like that. I might be able. To, I should be able to get that a little bit better right here. And I think that's about it. That's the only thing stopping me from putting the socket in. So let me clear that up a little bit. Okay, I went over with the desoldering iron again just to kind of clear it up a little bit. Let's try it again. Got it. Okay. So let me flip this sucker over. Now I still have my finger on the other side of the... Let me back up a little bit. I still have my finger on the other side of the board here. Just to hold the socket in. And I'm just going to get my fingernail. I'm going to bend over this corner. I'm going to bend over this corner. And let me zoom in a little bit. It's a little better. I'm going to go ahead and solder it. I'm going to try to do this while looking at the screen on the camera. It's going to be tough. There's like a delay. Yeah, that's really hard for me to do. But there's a camera in my face. Yeah, that's it. So, let me flip it over, and we're going to test it. Okay. One nice thing about replacing a chip in your RAM is that the neighboring chips around it share many of the same connections. Uh, not all, but let's say most. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go here, connection, connection, connection. Okay, we have no connection here, but I can see over here, this lead goes off somewhere else. It's not actually connected to the here, so I know it's okay. Let's go over here. And this, we do not have continuity here, but I see these, that pin is not shared. Same thing here, but that pin is also not shared. So I actually just tested majority of the socket on top just by looking at it to make sure it has continuity with the rest of the board. Now I'll go ahead and check the other three pins and uh, we should be good to test it. Before I stick a chip in there I'm gonna clean it. Remember I said you could easily remove all that flux? Let's see if I could find my finger in the camera. It doesn't look so bad on camera but it's really nasty slimy mess over here. Also I see someone did a previous repair and they left flux all over here too. Now, <clears throat> this isn't that critical to clean off in this circuit, but in high voltage circuits, it's very critical because uh, flux can actually hold water 
and uh, you know um, screw things up. So what I'm doing right now is I'm off camera. Here we go. Just squirting some rubbing alcohol all over this whole area. And I have this old nasty toothbrush. Kind of scrubbing that flux right off. And I'm going to go over and do someone else's repairs here also. There's two, two spots someone repaired it at. Just remove that flux. Yep, so let me really hose this down with some rubbing alcohol and I'll dry it off and let's put chip in. Well, we are in the arcade room here and uh, Kelly is testing 2114 RAM chips in the Berserk machine uh, just to make sure we have a good working chip to put in the Berserk. Let's see what happens. Okay, good. So that's the chip we're going to use. Okay, let's stick this sucker on. And back to asteroids. Okay, I got it plugged in. I have pretty good faith. I'm about 95% sure this is going to work. Alright, we'll see. Okay, that was one high, two highs. So I'll pass the. Ah, oh, damn it. High, high, low. So, it passed the first chip. It passed the second chip that we just put in. And now we found a, yet another bad RAM chip. So. Hit the hit the self test real quick, Kelly. Hi, hi, low. Okay, one more time, just because. Just I want to make sure it's consistent. Okay, looks like we have more bad RAM. Okay, well, uh, if the third tone is low, uh, it says that M4 is bad. So let me show you guys here that uh, M4 is this chip right here. Now, I already went ahead and desoldered it. So I'm going to get my... pliers. I like to squeeze them a little bit. Then do a little bit of a wiggle. And... See if I can get this sucker off. So I'm gonna have to put yet another chip in there. Now zoom in real quick, Kelly. Just always make sure that there is no messed up leads when you pull your chips. So let me get in a socket in this guy. Bend each corner over. And let's just go ahead and solder this whole chip.
And that should do it. So she's going to test yet another chip. All right, so I'm going to test this one, test it again. Pull the interlock. My wife's crammed in between the games. You see anything on the screen, Kelly? Give, give, give it a minute for the tube to warm up. I got spot killer. Put it in t uh, put it in test mode. All right. Ooh, I passed self test. Yes. Anything on the screen at all? Yes, we got goofy, goofy vectors. Um. Here, I'm gonna hand you the camera. Show show whatever's going on on the screen, so I can see it later. <laughs> Screen around so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. That's what we're getting. All right. Let's let's see what else is going on. I have Kelly looking at the screen, and I'm gonna hit with some freeze spray. Tell me if anything changes, Kelly. Yep. Nope. Nothing. Uh -uh. Anything? No. Still nothing? Yes. There might be some water co uh, condensing on the board. We might mess that up. Okay, I'm just going to try the whole bank here. Is it anything looking different? I mean, something's different? Yeah, it's looking different, but I don't think it's different from the gutter. I'll try this guy. It's not replacing socket at this one for some reason. Anything? No. Now here's a whole other bank right here. Anything different? No. Damn. Okay, I'm going to go all the way down here. Anything different? Uh -uh. Um, hold on, hold on. Let's try these guys. Anything different now? Yeah, I think it might. Yeah. It Straightening up? Yeah. All right. So hold on, hold on. Let's wait till till it goes bad, and I'm gonna try each of these chips one at a time. All right, let me let me let me. I'm gonna turn the camera off, and we're gonna wait for it to uh, uh, thaw out, and you know, and let some of that condensation from the cold uh, free spray to you know evaporate away. Okay, I tried hitting these with the free spray individually. And we still did not, you know, uh, Kelly must have been mistaken on something. We didn't actually get a better picture. So I'm going to go with my gut. And I'm going to uh, replace the DAX. I'm going to replace the comparators. I'm going to replace everything in this area. Uh, I just happened to, I'm probably going to have to steal uh, these two DAX off another Asteroids or Omega Race or something. And uh, I happen to have all these brand new, so... I'm just gonna pull everything. Yeah, I had some uh, technical difficulties. My uh, the pump down here on my desoldering station went bad, so I got the my backup on top of the other one. <laughs> I love Pace. Pace is a wonderful desoldering iron. But uh, yeah, I'm getting ready to plug this back in. But uh, damn. So, maybe I'll figure out what's wrong with this. Maybe I'll just toss it on the bottom. Oh, well. Okay, we kind of went off on a side project. I was looking through different boards and stuff to find, um, you know, a, a candidate to steal parts off of. 
and I happened to plug in a board that had a RAM error. So I, you know, I went ahead and replaced the RAM, and I'm going to hand the camera to my wife, and I'll show you. I just replaced the RAM chip on. This is a different board now, but I replaced the RAM chip on this guy, and so now we have uh, another working Asteroids. Okay, good. So I'm gonna go back to that first board, and we're gonna we're gonna fix that one. Okay, so I just am waiting for it to turn on. I'm going to hand the camera to my wife again. Tell me if it, uh, if it looks any good now. This this is that boy. This is the first board I was working on. I uh, went ahead and uh, replaced pretty much everything in the vector circuit. Yeah, let's, have a picture. Yes, it's perfect. Yes. Okay. Start a game and let's make sure all the sounds are right. All right. Hold on. Let me try Just to do that with. Two hands here. All right, try to pulling up. By the way, the last board that, that I just fixed that, that it, it may have had a goofy language on. You know what I mean? There's tip switch settings on Asteroids boards. You can change the language that's displayed on the screen. Okay. Hit the button. We got player one going. Okay. Fire. Ah, ah, yes. ah. Thrust. Thrust. Sounds good. All right. All right. A saucer just because. Okay. Just start firing random stuff. I don't know. I wish I could see. <laughs> it's like a little cubby hole. Uh -huh. So it looks good. Yeah. So <laughs> no saucer yet. Come on, saucer. Right. Kelly's trying to play this, and like she's not even in front of the game. <laughs> Playing one-handed while holding a camera, and oh, now geez. game over. Well, whatever. Let's just assume the saucer is good. <laughs> I'll put it in the working pile, and we'll call it. Hand me the camera. All right, it's coming. <sighs> well, guys, uh, let me move, adjust this thing here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Uh, give me any ideas of any other videos you might want to see. All right.